Hi. So, uh, quick thing. How to play for your entertainment. Um, for your entertainment. So, tuning. I'm in detuning. So, well, this, the cover is done in detuning. So, D, G, C, F, A, D. The only issue is right now I'm in drop C tuning. So, uh... I'm gonna have to change how I play one of the chords for this lesson, but I'll show you uh, the how I play it in the video as well. So anyway, first part of it, just walk up the fret. That kind of thing. And then Fifth string, eighth fret. So you're gonna play, and then eleventh fret, tenth fret, and then sixth fret. Next part, when it gets a little bit uh, more involved, all I do there is I add the 13th fret. So you'd go 11 to 13. go from 10 to 6, and then on the 4th string, play the 8th fret, and then back to the 5th string on the 8th fret, so... So if I would play the whole thing, that would be... First chord, second chord, third chord, then Alright, so what we're gonna do is just gonna follow the same rhythm. So you're gonna follow 5th string, 6th fret, and then 4th string, 8th fret, so... That's the cool thing about these fret inlays, you can like follow along really easily, it's awesome. So... 6 and 8. Then 11, 13. And... Because I'm in drop C, I have to move up, I have to move back to uh, 6 and 8. But in the video I play it uh, 11 and 13 on the 6th and 5th string, but I'm in drop C so it would sound like it. Or I could bow it, because I am in drop C, and just play all 13. Regardless, that is the same for both. Anyway, 6 and 8, 11 and 13. This third part, this third chord, you can play one of two ways. You can play it 11, 13 on uh, 6 and 5, or you can play it uh, 6 and 8 on uh, the 5th and 4th string. And then you go back. And then 
third chord again, the variation, because I'm in a different tuning, it's gonna sound a little bit different, but you go back to six and eight, and then you kind of play, or if you're up here, if you play it over here, there's no reason why you can't, it's just how I played it, then you'd be on the fourth string, and then you'd play eight, to six and then back to eight. Slide to eleven and then pull off for ten. So. If you play it up here, it's thirteen and eleven. Thirteen and eleven, and then sixteen to fifteen. Same thing, and then you go back to the verse, and then back into the chorus, and then pre-solo thing. Six and eight, eleven, thirteen. Uh, that's a uh, eight and ten. My mistake. Eight and ten. Eleven and thirteen. Six and eight. And there you just play six to eight, eight to ten, four to six. Now because the battery is about to die on the camera, I'm gonna have to be somewhat quick. But let me remember. Solo thing. So, fourth string, fifteenth fret, seventeenth fret, eighteenth fret, fifteen and seventeen on the third string, then eighteen to fifteen, and then eighteenth fret on the fourth string. Seventeen to fifteen on the fourth string. Oh, sorry, third string. Then eighteen, twenty. So fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, seventeen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, fifteen, eighteen. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So. Tremolo picked that, so it should be uh, groups of three, I think. Three or four, one of the two. You could do it three and it's easier, or you could do it four if you're mad, so. Then you go back into the chorus, and then... That should about hit it on the head. What was that? That was verse. That was chorus. And I was wrong on the chorus. That's eight and ten, not six and eight. I think I said six and eight, and that's my mistake. So, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, six, eight. Sorry. Eleven, thirteen, six to eight. Back into eight and ten. Yeah, I think that, I think that does it, actually. I think that's everything in that. I hope this was helpful. I mean, I, I really do. I hope this was helpful. Also, uh, there might be a little back noise because I do have the amp plugged in, but I'm also plugged into FL Studio running some plugins. So, 
Hopefully it doesn't sound that rough. Should sound pretty good. No idea. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. So, peace.